How are you feeling? Right as rain. Good. We don't need a sick shepherd. That'd be bad. <sighs> and precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> Looks like we've got our saray back. The shepherd. Perfect timing. Agil! We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar. Well, you know. You know? Well, whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Huh? Me? More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Naif. Huh. See? Buck up! We got this! Ha! <laughs> I guess you're right! Also a message. I found a group of mercenaries headed toward Marland and asked them to protect the town, but they refused me. I have asked for additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. That's all. Mercenaries! They might work in a pinch! Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm, I get it. I get that you're weird. Now, where is the medicine going? The sanctuary! Gotcha. Oh, hey! You didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were gonna stock up. and get your supplies. We can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one. What happened? Wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary, but these guys put them down. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers either. Well, for a human anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting, and we won't get your kitty out of a tree. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. The miracle bridge maker? This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? It's nothing of the sort. Huh, <laughs> so you say. What do you need? 
Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepard. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table. Then we'll talk. How about it, Mr. Shepard? Well, well. Looky here. The Shepard comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. You trust whoever gives you money? And what else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry? Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? W well But if I have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. And that's why in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. <sighs> you need to start facing reality, sister. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You passed the test. All right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the Shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. We may not look it, but we value our customers. standing on end. There's something lurking deep inside here. Yes, even I can sense something wrong here. Let's begin the purification! <laughs> it's a moving plant? The Hellions don't always reside in animals. This forest was a ruin, too. We haven't found a ruin yet that wasn't crawling with Hellions. I'm sorry. It tears me up inside seeing all these ruins defiled. But if we purify the Hellions while we explore the ruins, isn't that like two birds with one stone? Think about how jealous of our adventures literally every other historian and archaeologist will be. You're such a sweet, simple soul. You know that? Huh? You're right. Fretting over this won't get us any closer to our answers. We should all take a- And if Saray thinks you're happy-go-lucky, I think Miklio's in shock. Let's get going, touchy-feely Miklio. Hey, you're doing- Or, for short, touchy-feelio. No! No nickname. You ready, Saray? Could this be... Elixir? The all-healing panacea made by Mautellus? Oh my! What a delightful butterfly! 
Whoops, I guess it's random o'clock again. Anyway, the elixir, you think it's the real thing? According to the celestial record, the methods used to make elixir were lost ages ago. And look! An icky beetle going creepo crawl a creepo crawl. I guess we won't know for sure unless we try it. You think that's safe? It'll just be a drop. Whoa, I feel rejuvenated. It is the real thing. Nice. Wish we could just buy this at the store. That'll be difficult. The only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church. The church, huh? <laughs> Ran out of bugs, I take it. I don't understand the social hierarchy of humans. Aren't there ranks or hierarchies among the Seraphim? Well, if you must know, whoever makes the best jokes is ranked. Pretty sure that's your rule. Boss of the area? No, it looks like a mutant hellion. Like Ouroboros. Mutant hellion? It's probably the effect of the anomalous orbs. Just like the ones Knight Arthur and Echidna had. Let's keep our guard up. Ready? Don't push yourself, Lila. to get into danger. Please help him. Of course. Leave it to me. <sighs> 
Now the blessing should return to Marlin. Saray! Alicia! Eat this! You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so... He's at his limit. I know. Saray. Alicia! Thank goodness. Don't worry about me. It looks like we were able to expand Rohan's domain. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do want to check in on Lucas's crew. Here. Thanks. See everything. Thanks. I knew you could handle it. How'd it go? We managed. Good to hear it. And I guess the guards are trickling back onto duty, and we've got a new ship. Shall we take a break at the end for a spell? Sure. <laughs> 